3D Rising is here at Mercer Island High School just outside of Seattle, Washington, and we're at the Northwest Invitational, and we're talking to Joe Corbett, the head coach of Jesuit High School out of Portland, Oregon, and Jesuit just defeated Skyline out of Washington by a score of 13 to 10. Coach, congrats on that win. Uh, just take us through the victory and what it means to you at this point in the season. Yeah, thank you. Well, um, overall, I will tell you, Skyline's a great program. Those guys are, are from end to end. They got some, some really good athletic players. Uh, for us, and, you know, it was a, a bit of a, of a chess match, as I told the guys at halftime. So we were back and forth. Uh, the game was always close, but I think in the end we were able to kind of in that fourth quarter pick it up a little bit, maybe uh, maybe uh, uh, set the tempo a little bit more, and uh, and then start to, to grind it out a little bit. But the win is a great win against a great program like Skyline. And and this is a great event, and we're excited to be here. This is a unique mix of teams from yeah. the Northwest and even Canada. Just talk about the event and being able to participate in this uh, unique group of teams. So if you get some of the best programs, not only in the Northwest and you know Canada included, but also the uh, the Nevada teams, and you got three great uh, Nevada teams up here this weekend. That's a lot of great uh, lacks, and and so the competition is that much higher. Um, you know, you're playing in our case, you're playing three games in three days, so you got a little bit of the fatigue you got to work on. And for us, in terms of the time of the season, the fact that we can able to do see a lot of different stuff from different teams and then use that when we get back home for our regular conference play uh, against really skilled players, it, it's a big confidence booster. You said that you've been with the program now for going on a decade. Uh, just talk about some of the things that you do in terms of development and training and you know trying to get the kids better, I guess. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I think one of the first things that we try to do, at least at Jesuit High School, is we love multi-sport athletes. And, you know, I, what I try not to do is, is, is push these guys on a year-round type of thing. I mean, if they're playing, you know, football or basketball or whatever, you know, two, three sports, I think that's awesome. You let them get a break so they're not burning out. Uh, but, you know, we've got, we've got uh, a couple of youth programs that we try and work with and, and try to develop. Um, other than that, we do some preseason stuff, um, but we try not to grind it out on a year-round type of thing and let these guys, uh, you know, maybe maybe play select and do some of the other things uh, that, that they want to do at high school level. Uh, you're from Baltimore, so I I'm interested in your take on lacrosse in the, the Northwest and where it's come where it's come from and where it is now. Well, yeah, well, I tell you what, you start looking at some of the rankings already, you're going to see some of those West, West Coast teams in the top ten. I mean, you got the St. Ignatius in California, Mercer, another great program. I mean, so, and then you look at some of these recruits and where they're coming from, it's all across the map.